Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be talking about socks. Now you may be wondering what on earth has socks got to do with EDS. Well let me explain a little further. As I have classical EDS and one of the main features of this type of EDS is skin fragility and I have skin fragility quite bad and yes socks are one of the main issues I have and have done for a very long time and I do have a love-hate relationship with socks. I am a size 1 to 2 depending on what footwear is in footwear and so that's kind of in between children's and ladies. Buying footwear is often very limited choice because it's in between sizes it's more likely to be on the children's style rather than the ladies. So often I get things that are a bit more plain, just to kind of look less childish. Now with socks, because of all the different skeletal bone structure issues I have in my feet, it makes finding socks really hard. And as well as low muscle tone and low fat tone in my body, I often find difficulty finding socks to fit me correctly rather too big or too tight. These are usually too big. If I get the size 1, is it 12 to 1 or 12 to 3, they're often a bit tight fitted. But if I get the size the 1 to 5, they're often a bit big and they'll just fall off my feet. These kind of socks are often tighter because the size 12 to 3 I think. These are cute little grey and black dotty. I got these in a set with some others and I think these may be a bit tight as well. But I've worn these ones for quite a while so I'll have to find out about so that. As the skin fragility is like what it is, it means that things that are as soft as a pair of socks can cause issues, bruising. And if you're really not careful, and it could possibly break the skin. Luckily, I've just had bruising, but it's been really painful. And I've had that this week, and I've still got bruising there from a pair of socks, that I, another pair that I've had to throw out. And it's, it's just a pain. But it's something that you have to think about when, when buying socks, because they're classical ADS. So this is a side that people probably don't really think about. Now, clothes, I do have issues with buying as I, I am in a, a teen, well, kids sizes. So often my style is limited and certain fittings are not always great and it can be very uncomfortable. Hence why I do spend a lot of time in my pyjamas. Now, I've started buying like loungewear, so like tracky bottoms or joggers, whatever you want to call them and a little zip up hoodie and then a little top underneath to make that feel like I'm not wearing pyjamas as such so like if someone comes to the door at least then I kind of look like I'm presentable and not just being lazy even though I know I'm not being lazy and there's reasons why I do prefer to wear because they don't hurt me they tend to be softer the fittings are not as restrictive and they're just more comfortable they don't really cause bruising or indentation marks in my skin which can be itchy, soft or not painful which is going back to the socks my dad was telling me that he has a pair of socks that don't have any like elastic around the top so i'm assuming they're seamless and i'm going to try and get some i think you can get some in asda so i may have open there but they may just be like white from what i saw online so when i next go in there i will have a look and and give them a try and it would be good if we get them in, in like slippers bed sock because i wear these a lot I get around the house. I only mean that wear these when I'm going out, unless it's the winter, and then I'm more likely to wear these on time. Anyway, and that is all that I've got for today. I hope this has been quite interesting. I kind of makes you realise that how lucky most people are that they could just go out and buy socks and not think about what they may do to their bodies, not the skin. And even you know getting them on and off could be quite painful because of the skin and but this is just one of the things that I have to kind of deal with on a daily basis. If I didn't have my circulation issues then I would just walk around with no socks. I used to do that a lot when I was younger and I think that's probably why so <laughs> but I have to keep my feet at a, a regular temperature because of the circulation issues that I have with them. That is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have please make sure you give it a thumbs up and share 
I'd like to know what you do with regards to top socks or even clothes like you know where do you what kind of things do you prefer to get and do, 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 do you wear socks do you wear tights do you what kind of clothing do you wear that reduces issues on the skin i hope you've enjoyed watching this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you've liked it and don't forget to share so that other people may see this and they get to share their experiences and what they're doing to reduce their skin issues with the classical EDS. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, usually at the top somewhere. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Bye.